Hello and welcome back to another episode. In this episode we shall be concentrating on creating the header of the website. So this section here, um, possibly the logo and the navigation and maybe even the whole the main hero image. It all depends on how much time we have left and how much time is taken up in this video. So hopefully you've purchased this design from Theme Forest. Um, if you haven't, I suggest you go ahead and purchase it now and then you can follow along. The link to the theme is, or the design I should say, is below. So go and do that, pause this video, then come back. Right, hopefully you got this now. So let's begin. Um, as you can see with this theme, there's a top banner, then a navigation with the logo, then a massive hero image, with some content and a call to action. So let's get started. Open up your code editor like previous. Go into your header file, close the footer. Go into the header and let's begin. So I'm gonna put this over here and put the design on the left hand side so we can see what's going on. Let's zoom out a bit. Clear these guides. Oh, the, no, there we go. Clear guides. There should be. Clear guides. Hmm. How do I close this? Yes, right. So we can see what's going on roughly here. Okay, so find where it says header, ID, master head. Go above that and create a new section. No, actually we won't do that. Let's do it inside this header. Call this, um, what can we call this? Mm, top banner. So div class, top banner, close the tags and close the div. What you also want to do, what I like to do, is comment out every time I close the div so you know exactly what you've closed. So, top banner. That helps other developers when they come in afterwards to know what you've done. And also yourself if you've worked on a project and left it alone then come back to it a few months later. So, the top banner is in. Here we can see we have a, where's that, an address or location. Opening times, phone number, and I think we'll do that part separate. So let's call this business information. So let's create another class. Div class business information. And you can see I'm using camel case. So the first word starts off lowercase. Second word starts off uppercase. Oh. Um, there's many methodologies you can use but for the sake of making this as simple as we can let's not go into that and just keep the naming convention quite simple so business information close that and then on the other side we could have what can we call this social media and i guess selectors hmm, i don't know we should come up with a name that makes sense I think what that'd be called. Social media. Mm. Business additional info. Not the greatest of names, but I don't want to stay here all night thinking of different names that we can use. Business additional info. And finally, because I'm going to be floating these elements, I'm going to use a clear class. Now, this probably isn't the best way of doing this. I know you can add different ways of clearing divs, but this is the simplest I found, and this is where I kind of stick by. So you can add that in if you want clear. So basically what that means is like the elements above will float, and then the elements below this clear class will fall in underneath rather than if you don't put this in, the elements just start to float everywhere and it doesn't look good. 
So in this business information part, we can see we need a list of items. So let's create a list. Um, do we need to give this a class? Probably not. Let's not give this a class for now. And then we'll come back to it. The list items, however, I will give a class because I think later on we will be changing the data inside of these here, some JavaScript or jQuery. And if we had a class, it makes our job much easier. So we'll call this location info. And we'll say 3704 Water Field Lane, Texas. Rebate two thousand one. Then we'll close our list item and do it the same for the opening times. The class opening times. We'll say Monday, Friday, nine a.m. to five p.m. Sat slash sun closed. And let's just make Monday to Friday. And then finally, the telephone is now in class. Telephone info. Zero one two three four five six seven eight. I think that's seven eight. Nine. Close that. So open it, we may as well change this to info so we know that what they pertain to when we change them later on. Okay, <clears throat> so that's on your left hand side. We'll have this then on the right hand side so we can have another list item. Let's call this social media. And we don't need to give these a class this time. So this item, um, let's have a href. So we want to take it to the social media profile. Um, we can open it in a new window if you want to. So target blank. And finally, let's put an image in there, image source. Um, this is a great tip, guys. If you're ever developing a site and you don't have the image assets ready, you can use a site called um, placeholder.it. So HTTP slash forward slash www dot place hold is it place hold I think it's place hold dot it and then you select the image size so let's try twenty twenty give it an alt tag of Twitter I believe no Facebook Facebook icon that's gone off the screen two seconds Facebook icon close the image tag and then close the anchor and then finally close the list item we can bring this over more okay so we can copy that and let's do it for the other icons and so what did we have Facebook Twitter LinkedIn so we'll just change the alt tags for now so we know then what images we need to put in later. So let's save that. And finally, the drop down. I don't know the best way of doing this yet. Okay. Mm. What would be the best way of doing this? Okay, maybe for this. In another list item, call this office locations. And list item class active. And we'll also call this location one 
Um, we'll just say Texas for now. So we have five, four or five items for Texas, Las Vegas, New York, and London. Oh yes, I'm in London. Okay, so change the locations, get off the active tags on these because we don't want these ones really to show, so we should probably add a different class. Let's call these, mm, no, let's leave them like they are, and we'll hide all the locations later. Instead of hiding them individually, we can go location, 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 location. And what we can do is hide all the locations, so even this one will be hidden first. Location, location, location. So all of these will be hidden. And because we have an active tag then, we can even call this active location, I suppose. Move the location, or to stick to the naming convention, we can go active location. I think to stick to the naming convention, we'll take out the hyphens, which I usually program with. Save that. And now you'd expect us to have a lovely look inside. So let's have a look what's going on. So refresh this page. <gasps> What's going on? This page now has all the information in it. So it has the office locations, the times, etc., the phones, phone number, and then the social media links, and then the locations where they're based. But this doesn't look like that, of course. So what we have to do now style the actual website and to do that we need to open up the style sheet so go to the root folder in the theme that we added earlier click on style and there's a lot of code in here already from the normalize.css um, file i think is by nick what's his name nicholas gallagher and john for neil so this basically makes your website look kind of similar on most of the browsers that you can develop a site for. So scroll all the way down to the bottom, add some space in, add a comment so you know that this is your work. So you can say custom work carried out by your name. So, hi, Ricky. My name is Ricky, by the way. Should have introduced myself, shouldn't I? How rude. And, yeah, we can begin. So, let's have a look at the header, first of all. Okay, so let's have a look what's going on. Okay, yeah. Basically, the unordered list items have a padding. Can you see the green that's coming up on the side? And, or, and a margin, I should say. So if we took those out, or just said zero, they'd go right to the very corner. So we need to add a container so the website doesn't break when we're viewing on all different devices. So that's the first thing we will do in the style sheet. So add a container. I don't know if I have this. Nope, I did have it pasted in. So max width, um, one, one, two, no, 11, 25 pixels, I think. Margin, zero, 25 pixels. Hmm. There's something else I need to add to this. Let me go to my own website and see what, what I'm missing. I'll always uh, copy and paste this really, so I don't tend to use it that often. But I haven't got a container in it now, have I? Hmm, okay.
Okay, room one centi margin. Okay, I did the wrong way around. That's what I did. So for the container, it's gonna need a max width of eleven centi pixels, a margin of zero on auto, and that centers it in the page, and then a padding of twenty five pixels to the left and the right. The zero means there's no padding on the top and the bottom. So save that and then go to the header file and inside here the master head you want to start a container div class container you can come down to the very bottom then I think here so close that container off so that's just below the top banner. So we should now have so the content now is in the container. So when we align it all up, it shouldn't break. See this here. Yeah. And there's a lot of space in there. You can see what's going on. So what I like to do is start off every development with some sort of clean code. So I don't want any margins or paddings on my list items. Margin. Pardon. and I also don't want any default list style so none I will get rid of then the, the dots okay the dots are gone now we just need to put these in line so okay let's have a look at the design again so I would say this roughly takes up or 800 pixels but because we're designing and developing for a responsive website we don't want to set a width for pixels for these we want to set a width in percentage so I would say roughly 60% we can adjust as we go along that's fine so what did we call this business information So the business information here, this is going to be 60% of the width and the business additional info is going to be 40% of the width. So let's put that in. So we can also put another comment so we can say this is the header. So business info, I think that's what it was called. Width, 60%, float, left. And we'll try that. Business info, what is it called there? Business information, sorry. And let's say business additional. Width 40% and also float left. So now, hmm. so what we want to target here now is these list items inside the business information to make them display in line. So to do that, we select this, so business information, and then the URLs and the list items. So we do it like this. Business information, and then the URL, and then the list item. And we want to say display in line. So that means they'll display in a line, basically. So if we look now, that should go in line. See? So they're all in line. 
lovely bit too close to spacing but we can sort that out that's no problem i'm trying to work out why this is not just laying right because okay so i've made a mistake i've called this one business information and this one business additional but it's not information it's info so to keep it um, consistent business information let's name that and then we should get both items floating correctly yes so these are floating to the left these are floating to the left and these are also floating to the left and in the design I believe these two are right aligned so we'll do that now so business additional information and text align right that should do it I believe so they write the line and now we need to put these in line like we did before well these ones at least and these ones can display the way they are business additional social media okay so once again we target business additional information um, we named this uh, and ordered this social media and then the list items display them oh, what's going on display your line oh come on I spot that wrong with CSS everything has to be spelled correctly otherwise it just messes up and if you miss it you can be thinking what the hell is going on and you can be looking for hours and it could just be a simple spell mistake okay so i don't what's going on here okay and uh, text align left what's going on So social media, we need to make this have a width and a float so the other uh, content then will come in line. So once again float this to the left, give it a width of 70% and that should do it. Okay great, uh, one more thing you may notice these not like that so once again let's go in and have a look at the code we created so office locations is the unordered list we created and then we want to hide all the locations so office location oh start at disk is full that's not good Office location, locations, and then location, display none. That should hide all those items. Let's have a look. Why is New York showing? Because once again, there's a spell mistake. So if we go to location, Now there's nothing showing and one last thing we need to do we need to make the active locations show so office locations office locations active location display block and this has to be after this one otherwise this one will hide them again 
So let's refresh that. And there you go, Texas is showing. Later on, we'll style this up. When you click over it, a hover box will appear with the individual items which will show, okay? And one last thing we can do here. Do we wanna do this in the header? Let's have a quick design. Yeah, why not? We'll put this in the header. So, System in the master head, div class, uh, hero image. This is after the top and then container. And wrap this all around everything until the, it comes before the bottom header. So close that div and cl put the comment in of hero image. select all this text inside, indent that in, so we can at least see then what is covered by this hero image. And once again, we want to put a container in here, div class container, so nothing breaks outside the bounds and it keeps everything in line. And close the container off just after this is the header text. So a container. So now we shouldn't really see anything. I don't think we'll see anything different actually. Okay, so let's put something in here so we can see that we have actually added something. So page, hero, background, we'll just say purple for now. We can get the proper X codes in a bit. And let's put a padding of top and bottom of 300 and then no left or right padding, just for now, so you can see what's going on. Okay, that didn't work. Let's see what's going on. So, hero image. So I can see that we're not. No. Once again, I've called it the wrong thing. Hero image. Now, hopefully, it works this time. Ta da! It's a bit bigger than I was thinking, but okay. Let's shrink that down slightly. Let's say 200. Okay, so we've got rough building blocks. Granted, it looks nothing like this yet, but we will have that in. So I'm gonna end this video early, guys, because it looks like my hard drive is uh, getting full and I don't want this video to cut out. So I'll end this at this point. Follow me over to the next video and we'll carry on working on this design. Thank you.